I wanted to put out a short video about our solution to transition differences between tile and carpet. This is how we do it. We use a product here called the Power Hold Carpet Ramps. And here Jason is pulling back the carpet. He's gonna take back a good amount of carpet. He's going to kind of lay everything out, eyeball where the ramp is gonna go. Take out this piece of padding in order to give him uh, some room to work. Take up any staples or anything like that. Kind of just laying everything out here and you have your side pieces here and the thicker end of the ramp is going to go toward the threshold of the tile. Take off any remaining tack strip that's in your way. Now we're tile guys so I'm sure some carpet guys out there will have a field day on us here but this is a very good solution that homeowners can do and it really works well for us because it just smoothens out that transition between the tile and the carpet. We're gonna drop some screws in this thing. You can glue these ramps down if you'd like to add a little bit of a belt with suspenders. You're gonna make an L cut here on these side ramps and put those in. Drop a couple screws in there. We like to cut ours with a jigsaw. That's a really effective way to do it. Drop some screws in there. Again, use some glue if you'd like. This one, you can see Jason marking it, marking it out. So he's just kind of making a simple L cut. And he's going to slide this thing in there. Drop a couple more screws in there. Going to put this piece of padding back. You can also glue this down if you feel it's necessary. We're going to staple this down to hold it. You're gonna need tack strip. We cut our tack strip with uh, metal snips and that works really great. You're gonna to wanna to hold this a quarter inch off the front of your jolly strip and do not smash your tile when you're nailing this in. Put a corresponding piece in front of that piece. As you can see him doing here, sharp blades for this kind of carpet work here, sharp blades. Carpet guys have specific tools for this. We just really use sharp razor blades. And he's putting in another piece of tack strip here to kind of uh, hold the carpet on the sides. Now we're gonna put the carpet back to where it was, peel off our plastic protective sheeting. And what we're gonna do here is butt the knife blade up to the front of the jolly strip. This is where you wanna be extremely careful. You can see the technique how he's holding on to the one side and pulling it back as he's cutting with the knife. You get one shot at this kind of this deal here, so make it count. And you can see his technique, he's just holding the one side and pulling it back as he's cutting. You're gonna want a carpet kicker. We use a painter's tool to kind of put the front of that carpet down and tuck it in. As you can see here, just tucking it in. You are gonna need a carpet kicker and you can find cheap ones at Harbor Freight or I'm sure Amazon has cheap ones. I'm gonna step on the carpet and you'll hear a very specific sound to know that the carpet has adhered to the tack strip and we have a nice clean transition there. And this is our solution. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.